You can. Look at mine so far. So we're live. Okay, get everything situated here. So, today we are just going to do kind of like a little update and chat with you all. I think you need to scoot that the chair forward just a little bit maybe. Yay! All right, Danny. That's awesome. So glad you're here. So anyway, um, today I thought I'd just talk a little bit about what I'm going to do on my planner. I plan on doing another vlog about it later, but I didn't get a chance to do the vlog over through the week, so I thought I'd just do like a short little update. And um, and then the kids are wanting to paint this afternoon, so I figured I'd chat with you while they painted. So that's kind of what our plan is. So, anyway, um, let's see, when was it? Last year, I decided to try um, bullet journaling, and um, it was kind of difficult for me to get into. And, um, in fact, I'll, I'll go through that real quick, just a second. Okay, so I got this little um, so I got this little um, notebook here and I decided to try doing bullet journaling and um, I started out you know putting like a little calendar in it like that and decorating it up and everything and trying to take notes and then you know writing little lists and of things to do and marking them off as I got them done and that kind of thing but I just found it to be a little difficult to keep up with, and I really wasn't getting into it. But I really, really, really liked doing the calendar and having it decorated and everything like that. But I just didn't like how small the calendar was because it was hard to write a bunch of stuff in there and everything. So after that, I switched and got like this, just this regular old planner. And then I took the stickers that I got and um, I decorated it and then I like this and I would write and take notes of everything that was happening and and just different various things like that when I planted things or when we got animals and just all sorts of things and anyway and then after that on these pages here I had planned on making it like a diary and you know taking time each day and writing several sentences about what had happened and that kind of thing but then I, I wasn't doing very good at keeping this up but I ended up using um, this and it was really handy and I really liked it and it was fun to decorate it and everything and um, so for this year I decided to get another planner, which was just like the one I bought last year. Just basically like that. And then um, I got these same kind of stickers. I don't know where the other pack is. But where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Where is it? I got two different kinds of stickers here to decorate them with and everything. I'm really excited. But um, one thing that I didn't do last year very much that I really, really regret is take very many pictures. You know, I did a lot of vlogging, so we have the uh, videos to look back on, but we don't hardly have any pictures. And it was kind of sad looking through all my pictures on the on the computer because we there's just hardly any any there. And so I don't know. Um, 
I'm hoping that I don't regret not taking as, as many pictures as I did, but um, this year I want to take more pictures, and um, then I'm trying to kind of get back into doing Instagram more and stuff like that, so I figured between Instagram and just and that that I would hopefully, you know, get more pictures taken. And anyway, I thought about combining that with my planner this year. And on these pages here, what I've, I've been thinking of doing is taking um, scrapbook paper, like various whatever designs that I want, and um, actually gluing them on these pages right here. And then um, each month, you know, I, just, I focus on trying to at least take, pick, you know, a nice number of pictures. And um, at the end of each month, printing those pictures up and then putting them in here and writing little notes down. So that way it'll be kind of like a planner slash scrapbook type thing that we'll, that we'll have to look back over the year on. And I'm really excited and I'm hoping that it's easy to do and that it's something that I can keep up with. So anyway, um, as I get to doing it or, and all of that and get started decorating it and all that, I'll, I'll do a vlog sometime and show you guys how it's turning out. So anyway. Hey, petals on paving slabs. Yeah, I think that would be something fun to do with your kids, and I'm, I'm hoping Miley will enjoy helping me out with it, and I know Brooke will too, because she's super creative. And see, we all like, like to scrapbook, and before we started homesteading, we lived in a small town, and um, basically scrapbooking was kind of our hobby, and um, I personally loved to scrapbook, but I couldn't, didn't ever feel like I was that creative. But Brooke could always crank out those nice scrapbook pages and everything. And then um, when we moved here, homesteading kind of became our hobby. And it's kind of consumed <laughs> our time. And so I don't exactly scrapbook as much as I used to. So, But I do enjoy it. And I'm hoping that maybe this will be kind of like a, a good in-between type thing to do. So, anyway, that's basically all that I was going to show you today with that, but I plan to do more in an upcoming vlog. So, um, let's see. Oh, and then the other thing that I was going to do was, um, I was going to plant my lemon seeds that I sprouted. Where's my watercolor stuff? Dylan, that's your watercolor stuff? Yeah, where is that at? Um, probably oh, right there. Anyway, um, it's kind of funny. I had them laying here on the table, and I was gonna, and I planned on getting dirt and everything, and get get started planting them. And well, Dylan, he came here and he cleaned off the table, and I guess he saw them and he thought that was just trash, so he kind of threw them away. And then, um. Our dumpster's kind of full because we only have trash come basically one time a month. And so it's been full for since Christmas and so we hauled it into town. So those seeds kind of like are in the trash in town and I can't get them back. So I'm going to redo it again, restart some new ones and I'll show you how I did it this time. And then hopefully they'll sprout and then I'll still be able to plant them and everything. Hey, it so. could be a good thing that string bean did. Yeah, it could be good. So then that way I can do the whole, whole entire, show the whole entire thing on the video from beginning to end. So but anyway, yep. So the kids are very anxious to paint and they're getting everything ready and lined up. So I have mine all throughout. Uh-oh. There it goes. So, anyway. That might already drop. You got it all done. Yes, I should. Well, he actually... See, we went to town yesterday. And then um, we came back out here and I discovered that they'd been thrown away. And he actually volunteered and offered to go to town and try to dig them out. 
but um, I told him no, it wasn't really that big of a deal because, you know, I can just start some more, but it would have been funny. So, hey, MGP writer. So, anyway, um, I guess we're going to rearrange things real quick and let the kids get started on painting. I almost we, slipped. We downsized our table, and so it's like kind of small now, which is kind of good, but then at the same time, we don't know how this is going to work out. He made the offer. He is a good guy. <laughs> I know, I sit down there, though. Sit down. Should have at least tried, I guess. Made it anyway. Anyway, I don't know I how could this. Check when they go home today. Yeah. They might have gotten froze, though. That's what I was thinking. Hey, Samantha. Samantha says that's a genius idea. Love scrapbooking, but haven't done it. Much of the past few years, this is something I can would do and keep up with. Well, appreciate looking back as our daughter goes. Yes. See, I'm kind of hoping that that's what happens. That it's pretty easy and simple to keep up with. Because I'll just take the pictures on my phone and then I'll just go like once a month and try to print them off, and then just stick them in there. And if I feel like decorating it and being kind of more creative, then I'll do that. And if not, I won't worry about it. At least the pictures will be in there and I'll just maybe write down what we were doing and the date or something special about it and then just kind of go on. And I'm hoping that it'll be easy to keep up with. So, I don't know how to change this around. Do you have any good idea? I don't. Maybe turn the camera more that way and you can hang on to the camera yeah or you could maybe scoot that chair over that way face it more this way and then you could sit this chair that way. yeah okay we're gonna move the camera really quick so that we can sit right where the camera is at <laughs> bump the camera. Oh. Um you know what you want once you could go ahead and use the paintbrush and then just leave it and you can wash it when you're done. I can but can see? it's so big I like so anyway the Can't kids buy. are getting ready to paint. I think Dylan is doing um oil, oil painting. painting. I'm doing like what kind? I don't want to do oil. We're doing acrylic. And then Brooke is doing watercolor. But right? where's all the yes. acrylic paint? Oh, you're going to have to go get it. I don't want to. I guess we should have got more That's organized right. and like set up before we got this. Um, before we got this going here. Samantha says, yes, it's easy to go back in winter or summer time when there's more time to be creative. You love it. Yes. That's what I'm kind of hoping on is I can kind of like focus through the winter time on doing that kind of thing. And then the summertime when it gets so busy, I should still be able to get the pictures printed up and, you know, put them in there. Can I use yours? Yeah, so. yeah I that right there. there. I told you that's up there. Those right are the ones that you're going to use. Up there, back there. No. Right here are the ones that I bought from Hobby Lobby. Oh. So. Wait, no. That's it. Anyway. Yeah, they're, they're in here also. Looks 
like Miley is doing a cute little winter scene here. Got a little snowman and tree. Yeah, all that. She's getting all of her supplies gathered up. Now, I need a plate to see something. And what are you doing, oh. Brooke? Um, I'm not sure, quite sure yet. I don't really know. I'll just kind of think of something and go with it. <laughs> yeah. And Dylan, oh yeah, what are you doing? I was going to have you show your picture. Mm. Can we show that? Yeah. Dylan's been watching Bob Ross videos. And he did an amazing painting the other day. I think it looks really, really good. Okay. It needs some work, but didn't that turn out so good? I love the mountains and the sunset and all of that. I messed up on this tree. I tried to put it in a little trunk or something. I didn't the way like the way it looks, so I tried to put it back and it just I didn't match the color upright and it looks funny I think, but and then the bushes didn't turn out the way I wanted them to. But I feel like it's a good start. Yeah, that's like your very first oil, oil painting. painting. Following so. step by step with the Bob Ross video. <laughs> and then using his methods and turning it into my own idea. Yeah, you did very good. Can I borrow some of your brushes? Mm. Maybe we bought some. Right here. Oh wait, no we didn't. But you do have your own set right here. No, that's not my set right there. You can just use that set. That'll work. What kind of brushes do you want to use? <laughs> I bought this kit for that one. <laughs> No, my you can use this. Oh, this one's mine. You can use that. This is mine. Okay. Is there like anything I could use for my paint? Oh, like a plate? Well, yeah. Yes, we'll have to get a plate. Um. I should have bought another one of these for you, Kansas. We have one somewhere. I was trying to look for it. I have. Wait, I want to see if I can find it. There's small ones like this here. Yeah, that'll work. Just use a small plate for now. I want to see if I can find one of those. I know we have one somewhere. I saw it somewhere. You don't have a spaghetti jar lid, do you? A spaghetti jar lid? No, I don't. I threw the way the lid for this. Which would be perfect just to store that. Thing. Yeah, that would be. So, anyway. Um, he wants to know where you got his videos, Bob Ross's videos. I think they're on YouTube. Yeah, I just could watch them on YouTube. Just YouTube. Search Bob Ross, and that's the name of the channel. Hey, Rocky Brook Farmstead, how are you guys today? Hey, Jer uh, Jay, Mary, how are you? Anyway, Dylan's getting started there. Painting your canvas with all white, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Basically, just get it wet. It's just... what Bob Ross instructs, Bob right? Bob Ross, yeah. <laughs> Bob Ross. Yeah, when the kids were little, they, they always used to watch his videos all the time. But I, I was embarrassed because in the last live stream somebody asked about Bob Ross and I said I didn't know who he was or something or mentioned <laughs> that we had to watch his videos and the kids instantly knew but it's just because I I watched him but I didn't 
actually pay attention to who he was, I guess. But anyway, he's really a good painter. It's fun to watch him. So... find it. Yeah, we'll look for it and get, and get everything lined up next time. We're kind of disorganized today, aren't we? Yeah, just kind of, sort of. And he says Bob Ross was something I watched to relax. First seen him in the mid seventies, and how does one not know? <laughs> <laughs> you know. should be embarrassed. <sighs> well, I knew like once the kids showed me, I remembered who he was, but I didn't pay attention to like his name back when they were watching the videos of him. You know, they would he would just be on, and I would watch him, but I didn't know. I mean, I'm I guess I'm just not like a big TV watcher. No, you never. And I, I just, you know, I paid attention, but then, yeah, I didn't exactly know who he was. <laughs> but it's so embarrassing now. <laughs> but I'm even like that with um, movie stars and, you know, actors and all that. I just don't, like, I hear their names and I hear people talk about them, but sometimes I don't, can't put the names with the faces or... I'll watch a movie and then I'll see the person and I, I can picture them in my mind, but I don't pay attention to their act, what their who their name or who they are. Yeah, you basically. don't even know who Will Smith is. <laughs> 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 Ooh, you don't know who Will Smith is. <laughs> I mean, if I saw his picture, I'd probably be like, oh yeah, yeah, that's I know. But but then to put his name with his face, I don't know because I don't pay attention to that kind of stuff that much, or I don't watch. I don't actually even watch a lot of movies or TV or anything. So. <laughs> and he says a true country bumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Mary says it's 42 here for the high and the wind ain't blowing, so it feels like 42. I just can't get warm and. Do not envy your snow at all. I know it's been the snow. It's been hard. It's so cold, especially the other day when it was blowing really bad, and having to go out there and do chores. It just took forever, and it was so cold. And it seems like it's been cold for a very long time too. But today seems like a pretty nice day. There, it's not today much. Today is moving. amazing. Is it kind of warmish? It's warmish, yeah. We got snow on the ground, but it's warmish. It's warmish, yeah. A lot better than what it's been the last couple of days. Yes. So, but it's supposed to come in and get really cold again, isn't it? I think. I hope so. I hope not. And I think we're even supposed to get some more snow. But that's Miley, right. Monday we're supposed to. Miley's my weather person. She keeps up on all the weather. Oh yeah, I haven't. I haven't checked it lately. So. Oh, Danny says, let it send in the snow, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. I agree. <laughs> Snowing, snow isn't that, I mean, I kind of, I like snow. I think it's very pretty and it's relaxing. Like if you, you're inside and it's like lightly falling outside and you can just like, Sit at the window and look out and watch it fall. That's all relaxing and everything, but I just, I don't like getting out and having to do chores in it, take care of animals and all that. It's just awful. 
and they especially like snow we had the other day where it was blowing really bad and super cold that was chores were just exhausting that day but if I could like somehow pa put a pause on all the animals and like just leave them and then start it up again in the spring then I wouldn't mind the snow at all <laughs> yes I agree that the wind Mary says it's the wind that blows right through you that makes going outside terrible it does and then um, you get so cold and then you can't get warmed up and then like yeah, at least with me, I get like about a third of the way through the chores and I get so freezing cold, I can't hardly feel my fingers and and all that. And then I have to keep going to hurry up and finish the chores. And I sit there and try to figure out, do I want to go inside and warm up for a little bit and then go back out and do the chores or do I just want to power through it and, and go in? But it is just, some days it's very miserable being out there. Danny, I don't know, computer keeps going to sleep. Danny said last week we got 10 to 15 inches. Mm. Ooh. And windy. So you have like huge drifts. I can't imagine that. Where are you at, Danny? There was one winter, I don't remember how much we got that time, but it was, you were still living here. Oh, and I had to go out like twice a day with the tractor and just maintain the pathways. Yeah, everywhere. the wind was blowing so bad and we were having like a blizzard and we had pigs way out there and oh my gosh, it was awful. And the drifts would just... Dylan would go out with the tractor and he'd clear them all out for me in the morning. And then by the afternoon, everything would be drifted shut again. And he'd have to go open them up again so that way I could walk out there. And it was so freezing cold. So, anyway, that was a really miserable year. That's the year that opened my eyes to exactly how rough homesteading is in the wintertime. And ever since then, I have just been not too excited when it comes to winter time and taking care of animals and everything. And he said, Long Island, New York, it rained and it's all gone now. Oh, well that's good. At least it's gone. We do need uh, rain really bad. It's so dry here. Snow, snow. Yes, no. In fact, if we don't get rain soon, the wheat crop's going to be kind of struggling, I think. Yes, Mary, I agree. Fresh snow does make everything look pretty, but it, definite, it doesn't last long when the snow gets dirty and half melted. That's for sure, especially when you have animals. <laughs> it doesn't take long at all for that snow to look dirty and... Yucky, and then you got mud, and that's we we struggle with that. Like, if we get a bunch of snow and then it melts, then for like a week at week or so after, there's just the dirt roads are horrible, horrible, horrible. In fact, we always have to take it the long way when we go to town and struggle with that, and it's just extremely tiring sometimes. Remember that one winter when we had like that whole ton of snow and it took, I don't know, maybe four or five days for the snow to finally melt away and for the roads to kind of get passable. Cause there's actually, for a couple of days, we were quite literally snowed in where we were at because every time, um, well, the wind constantly blew and every time they'd open up the road, I mean, it would just blow shut again. So we didn't even bother going to town. And then when we finally did, we were able to, 
the snow was really, really deep on the roads, and so it was slow going to get to basically the blacktop. We live about two and a half miles from blacktop, so if we can get there, we can usually get to town okay. But anyway, it was took, I don't know, a good 15, 20 minutes just to get to the blacktop. And then um, after that, the snow finally melted and everything, and then it was like a week and a half of muddy, muddy roads, and we still had to take the long way to town all the time just to keep from having to fight the muddy roads the whole way. That is looking good, Dylan. Thank you. And Miley, yours is looking good too. I ought to show them what all they're, what all they're doing. Yeah, me too. I thought yours was going to be a bird. Yeah. That's cute. This is my attempt to... A dog playing mm -hmm. a ball? Playing with ball? Isn't it right? a wolf? <laughs> no. It's supposed to be a um, wolf. Oh, a wolf. Howling and at then, the... And um, then a moon. Oh, okay. Moon in the background. <laughs> I'm sure it will look like that oh, as soon know. as you get the, the paint in there. Yeah, I was thinking about it. No, I think it'll look good. And then here's Miley's. Got the snowman. Oops, I'm not aiming the camera very well, am I? Snowman. I'm aiming the camera good. There. Yeah. Okay, and then I got Dylan's over there. Looks like you're doing, you said you were recreating the same, same painting. Thing. I just have different brushes that I wanted to try. So you're doing the mountains with a sunset. I thought it was trees. What? They're mountains. It's okay. They're mountains. Oh, they were trees? <laughs> they're, Gosh, first, I need to quit talking. <laughs> at first, they were going to be trees, but then they turned into mountains. Even while I was painting it, so. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? It was just mom sound effects. What was my sound effects? <laughs> you were like, oh. I, I, you were sitting there staring at his last painting, pa painting and then you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh okay. No, I was just thinking. Um, I was actually looking at it and like, oh yeah, those do, those are trees. So. I'm just kidding. I wholeheartedly agree, actually. I want. I meant for them to be trees, but I'm, I think they look better as clouds or mountains. Mary asked, why don't you do some knitting or crocheting? Can your girls knit? Can your son? Um, we, Ouch. I've tried to crochet, but I'm just not very good at it. I don't know if it's, I just don't have the patience to do it or what, but Brooke was into it for a while and she did some knitting. Yeah, but we never, it, we ne it just never did catch on very well with us, but we should try it. It would be a good warm winter time activity. I want to learn. 
And Miley wants to learn. My mom knows how, and she she taught Brooke, and so maybe I had to get some yarn and everything. And, and we have the yarn. Mom, show Miley how to do it. But that would be good. I do. I like to sew too, but I don't get it out very much, just because. Oh, I I just like to be able to get it out and leave it out and. Um, not have to get it out and put it back and get it out put it back and I just don't have an area just to do that with so it gets kind of frustrating sometimes to sew but but this winter I do plan to get the sewing machine out because Miley wants to learn to sew in fact we were going to do it last summer I think it was it was summer before last I think it was last and the sewing machine broke just as Miley was learning how so I just sent it off for repair and we got it back and then we haven't even gotten an outlet again to try to do it, but we're going to. And I even have some patterns and stuff and some material for my lead make a pillow and things like that. Even a little teddy bear. Uh, yeah, a little teddy bear. So hopefully this that? winter we'll be able to do that. Why does your thing look all green? <laughs> it's hard to clean, okay? These oils don't just come off with water, so I have to use this stuff to clean it. And that stuff's expensive, okay? So you, you want to do the brushes more than you do this? Yep. Okay. Oh, you're fine. I need some water, like for the brushes. If you get it, what did we use last time? I don't know. What did we use? We've we been use using those time. little plastic cups, but we used them all. And oh, that's we right. should have kept them and so thrown away. Um, Let's go get you a canning jar. Oh, uh, no. don't use canning jars for paint. Let's get you a coffee mug. Or something. <gasps> oh, use coffee mugs either. Um, <laughs> oh, I think there's like a jar in the gra craft cabinet. Yeah, there is one jar that I dedicated to. That. Painting that they can have. I'll go find it. Quilts, yes, quilts would be fun to do. Uh, my aunt does quilting. She does a really, really, really good job of quilting too. I always love that. But yeah, I had to, I've thought about trying that or looking into doing it. That would be fun. In fact, I did get a lot of a whole bunch of little pieces, quilting pieces. I was going to try to sew, sew a little blanket with it, but I don't know if it's actually going to exactly be a quilt or not. But I had to do a little research and find out how to do that and try it. That would be cool. I found some more paint brushes in there. I found more. Good deal. Need, <laughs> need some small ones, baby? Mm -hmm. So I found like a bunch of small, which might actually be useful. You can set this here. by the third, just don't get them confused. Well, my smell is all the paint all over it. I could. Yep. I always like the smell of oil paints. I know. What do I smell like? Brings back memories because when I was a kid, I used to get those oil paint kits, paint by numbers. And they always smelled like that. But they break at the same time. Yeah, they do. It gets kind of strong sometimes, too. He needs to set the time it takes for that to go to sleep differently, too. Oh, that's okay. Anyway, this 
see what they got going now. Here's what Brooke has so far. Still There's working on the sky. And Dylan is starting to paint some trees. Oops, I got hung up with the cord. These look like trees and not mountains this time. <laughs> Helps to get the right brush. Huh. And the right color. The right color. says that you're sewing right now. Took a break to watch you all sewing some house dresses. Cool. I love sewing, especially sewing clothes and stuff. But um, we don't like. Well, there isn't hardly anywhere locally to buy any material, and so you always have to go out of town to find it. And then it, it's almost costs more to buy material and so than it does to just buy clothes but i wish if i had a good supply of material and all of that kind of stuff i would be sewing a lot of dresses especially for miley because she loves dresses that's pretty much the only thing i'll wear in the summertime mary says very well done you can tell he watched bob ross <laughs> <laughs> yeah it does look a lot like this Are you doing water in yours? Water in mine? Yeah. This was supposed to be water. <laughs> I need to lighten that up. I mean, yeah. Maybe I should turn it upside down. <laughs> yeah, never know. But then if you turn it upside down, then what would that be? <laughs> oh, I guess the reflection yeah. in the water. Yeah, I could make that the reflection. Make the trees up here. Yeah. Possibly. Possibly. Okay. I need to move the camera just a little bit. There. Yeah, I think it's like BB sand. Yes, I agree. I do need a little cabin in the woods. Um, I have, like, there's the very first house that, um, we'll see, you know, my grandparents, or great-grandparents, they um, ho actually homesteaded this land. They came over by um, horse and wagon, and um, they actually built, like, the very first house, and it is, like, it's across the driveway, and it's a that small little building. Sometime I'm going to do a tour of it. But um, anyway, it was it's just a little one-room one house, and that was the very first house that they lived in. And um, I would love to decorate that up or redo it 
and turn it into kind of like a canning kitchen and then you know make a little sewing area and stuff like that i think that would be so cool and you know have a just a spot to bake and do crafts and i would decorate it all real old-fashioned like and everything but Hey, Pets of Psych, how are you? Yeah, we are, the kids are painting today. And so we thought we'd ju jump on and do a little live chat with you while they did that. I had a really busy, busy week this last week, and so I didn't get as many videos done as I wanted to do. I just, had, I struggled with that, and I even struggled with getting the ones that I got done edited, just because I was gone from, away from the house, probably at least three days or so this week. And so, instead of trying to do another vlog today and then edit it, I just decided, well, hey, let's just go live, and then the kids were wanting to paint and stuff. And that so brings it silly. That's what we did. Yes, my work training went really, really well. It was really fun. Um, I'm basically doing waitressing, and I'm volunteering, so I'm basically only just working for tips. And I'm just doing it whenever they need the extra help, because they pretty much have everybody that they need there, but every once in a while they get shorthanded. So that's basically what I'm doing, is just filling in for that. And Brooke trained me that night, and so she did a really good job of training me. And it went really well. And so I've never waitressed before or anything like that. So it was definitely a new experience, but it was fun. And the people that are running the restaurant are really, really nice. Um, they just opened it recently and they, you know, they have really, really good food there and everything. So I'm really excited. Yes, she was a very good trainer. She is very patient, and she stood back, and, you know, whenever I'd have a problem, she'd just basically stand back and um, let me figure it out, and then guide me if I needed a help, you know, on, like, running the register and that kind of thing. So I really learned a lot, and it was just pretty just relaxing and um i was it was really really fun so yeah i'm excited to go back and work again whenever they need me so It's looking good. Well, the reflection didn't turn out very well, so I'm gonna start. I'm gonna try to lighten it. Ah. Uh, see if I can lighten it. Looks super dark. Yeah, the water does. Isn't that kind of what you want, though? Because then the floor. Yeah, it's just too dark. It's too dark. Too, too, I think it's way too dark. Yeah, that's what I usually do when I paint the background. Just I'll go ahead and paint over all the markings and then just paint them in. Mm -hmm. I want to keep the snowman not covered. Yeah. That's like the main one I want to follow. But the tree I don't really have to, do I? Nope. Yeah, other than the trunk. I'd keep the trunk and the, the large, the wide limbs. Yeah. But all the small I branches I like separate. Stuff. 
because I didn't know how to do the top. It's hard for me to do the top of the trees because I don't know how to do them very good. I need to stick with it. I like the chair right next to me so I can just keep the paper towel down there. Mm -hmm. Mary says I have to go for now. You all take care. Maybe you can post the finished paintings or I can watch one of this later. Stay warm. Okay, thank you. Bye, Mary. Thank you for stopping in. Um, yeah, I probably, it'll take them probably longer to get it all painted than what I plan on being on for. So I will definitely um, post an update in one of the vlogs and show you how they turned out. So I will see you later or chat with you later that's <laughs> not what did you have to do to keep all this off of the counter or your desk or whatever I was actually super duper careful and I did I had some giant pieces of paper put down I only had two of them, so I was super careful. But I did manage to get it everywhere. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> so did it like ruin it? Or? No, I cleaned it up. Cleaned it before it actually like dry dried? Yeah. This stuff, it takes days to dry. Oh yeah, forgot <laughs> about that. Even the one that you did is still wet. You did it like, how many years ago? You did it Wednesday. <laughs> still wet. Just. It's kind of hard to keep this kind of <laughs> quiet. It like moves up and down. So you're using the two watercolors or the I didn't pay attention to what you're using. Uh yes, I'm using the two watercolors. Uh watercolors? Which is? The tube ones. Maybe I bought two ones? Or did you find it? They come in like a paste like this and you squeeze them out and just add water. I have that kind. I got it for my birthday. But do you know where they're at? No. That was the problem. <laughs> <laughs> you probably would have used them if you knew where they're at. Probably in my closet somewhere. I looked. Maybe, what if it was in the spots that you looked? <laughs> you laughing? <laughs> it can sound like this. No, I'm just like, that's cool. I glanced at the screen and you were like, holding it up like that and you can actually watch it paint. It's kind of cool. It is.
still need to make I need to mix up a little more of this collar. It's looking very pretty in there. Can you believe I've actually mixed the sky color up like two or three times because I didn't mix enough of it? And somehow I've just not gotten like almost like the same as that collar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's pretty lucky. I usually would try that and I'd have a different color yeah. and have to repeat the whole thing again. I couldn't pull it. Then I'd run out of paint when I had just this much left. So That's what to happened paint. to me. Wow. Which this one's actually a pretty easy one to get. All I do is just add like the blue and white and just mix it so I get like a light color. That's pretty good. Hey Brigo, how are you today? Is that how I Bob Ross here? Yeah. That's cool. Oh, it does totally make it look. Oh, look at my fingers! We're all doing great here. Look at my fingers. Mm. Looks like you need to wash It's from doing the top. I just got paint all over them. Yep, we were just trying to stay warm. Actually, it's a lot warmer today than it has been the last couple days, so that's nice. The paint's super sticky. Like. Yep. show Jones now that he's got the, the, trees the trees done and the shadowing done a reflection a reflection keep saying the wrong thing don't I I think I like how the reflection turned out in the other painting versus this one but not good Okay, there it is. I don't know if I'm aiming it right. Looks like you are. Doesn't that look good? And here's my leaves. Just got the background done. Now you're painting the snow, huh? Or are you doing more background? Snow. I'm thinking about trying starting on the snowman now. Mm -hmm. Is that a good snow color, you think? I guess I think it is. And Brooks. Looks good. You think? I thought I'd kind of have a fail. <laughs> <laughs> I think it looks good because you're not finished with it yet, right? Uh, I was kind of, I was actually kind of finished with it. Oh, you were? <laughs> yeah. But I thought you're gonna put like a background. Say you're not done with it. <laughs> yeah. What do you think this still? Oh, I thought you're gonna paint like the background in. You're not. No. Nah. 
watercolors are definitely more challenging, aren't they? If you after working with acrylics. Yes. Brush right here is easy to do like a little nose for this snowman because I did just like a tiny one just to see and how you do it be with this brush. Oh that's it's, like, cool. really easy. Yep. That is cool. So which do you think is easier acrylics or oils Dylan? I think personally oils. They're just you can. Really, they're the same, though. They kind of are, but they are not. Are not. I do like oil for like the standpoint that it doesn't dry, so like if you're if you want to walk away from it because you're tired of it, you can. You can, you can pick it up next day. Mm-hmm. Or in the evidence still wet. I like how you can blend oil on the canvas. And mix your colors on the canvas. If something doesn't quite turn out right, you can just kind of mix it in there and make it look you, right. You anyway. can also do you can that do that with, with acrylic. With acrylic too. But I feel like it works out better with oil. Yeah, I feel like oil is a little bit easier to add texture and stuff to than acrylic. malfunctioning yes the bird's happy <laughs> yeah right it says loving all the different styles I do watercolors and yes it's difficult because it's hard to go over unlike oils great work guys well thanks thank you yes you know a while ago my sauerkraut it, it it's funny because it bubbles every once in a while. It makes this bloop sound. And it was funny the first weekend that Dylan was out after I made it, he kept hearing it. He kept going, well, what's that water drop sound? And I'm like, what water drop sound? And he goes, well, listen, it'll happen. And then it never did. And then later on it dawned on me, it's probably the sauerkraut bubbling. So anyway. I heard I, it too. You know, it's funny. I didn't notice it this time, but you did. Yeah. <laughs> I heard it not that long ago. Well, well, that bloop was music to my ears because I thought I ruined my sauerkraut because um, that little trough keep, dries up. And so you have to remember to fill it every day. And I forgot to fill it for a couple of days. And so when I looked in there, it was all dry today and I was like oh no because I thought maybe the air would have gotten in there and I expected it to be moldy so I got it and I opened it up luckily there was probably enough water to seal it off or something maybe under the lid because it was still looking good but it didn't smell like sauerkraut it still kind of smelled like cabbage so I think it needs a while yet but anyway it's blooping again so that's good um What's messier, painting or cooking in the kitchen? <laughs> painting. Painting? Painting. I'd um, clean up a mess in the kitchen any day over paints. You would? I'd clean up paint. I think I'd clean up painting over cooking messes any day because at least with painting, you can like get everything you want to keep off the table and you can just roll up the paper and throw it away and your mess is gone. With a kitchen mess, you have to wash all the dishes and clean and, clean and put everything away and stuff like that so you get the paint brushes and you have the, the supplies that and the supplies and yeah you got to find a place to put them that's what our problem is is we just don't have a place to put them yet but 
I'm going to fix that soon because I'm going to clean out the, you know, our, we have a craft cabinet full of a bunch of stuff that we don't really use anymore. And I just need to get rid of all the stuff we don't use and then make room for our paint supplies. That way we can do that. <laughs> you can't put a casserole on the wall after though. <laughs> no, you can't. You could. Yeah, you, well, yeah, you could, I guess. <laughs> Because you could bake it to where it's really hard in the pan and then hang the whole Take thing Take a picture off. of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or paint one. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Modern art. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Looks good. I don't know. I just wasn't what I was wanting. So. I think it looks good out anyway, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you ought to get your leaf. I don't know, did I keep that leaf one or not? I, don't know. I, don't know. I, don't know. I told that you that you could throw it away. I kind of regret it. I know. She painted a leaf out of watercolor, and it looked. I literally thought she used a. Um, stencil or something to paint it because it was just perfect. She's like, no, I just freehanded it. And I was like, really? But it was really good. I think I kept it. I still don't know where I put it though. Let me see what this looks like when it's dry. Yeah. It always looks different when it's wet. Uh -huh. and then when it dries, it has a different look to it. No, <clears throat> so you make these like tedious. Like you need to like do the edge of your canvas while you paint. Because <laughs> it's just like I don't do the edge even after I'm done. I, I just know. Leave it. I know. Well, that's the point. That's that's why it makes me tedious. Well, well, I. I did the edge because I'm probably going to take a couple of these to the fair, and I, you have to do the edge. But you're not, so you don't really have to have to do it. Dylan could enter it in the fair, though. But yeah. Good. You should. Mm. So you really should start doing the edges. Hey, running um, kicks butt. If you want to be a famous artist, you've got to paint the... I don't want to be famous, so... Yes, we love art day too. It's so much fun. In fact, watching them paint's given me, or kind of getting me in the mood to want to paint too, but I don't mm -hmm. think I'm going to paint today. I yep. don't know what I want to paint, but anyway. You'll paint oh, next Oh, that's time. fine. I'm just glad you were able to join. I guess I keep talking to the computer instead of the camera. I need to remember the camera's over there. You guys are probably like tired of staring at me to stare at the computer. But anyway. <laughs> you do have a lot I know, of I feel like I'm always feeling like the camera's right there. Yeah, it always feels like it's right here, but it's right over there is the camera. Yep, but since you're just joining us, we are doing painting. Brooke did a watercolor, and Miley's doing acrylic, and Dylan is doing um, oil painting. I don't like this texture of paint because it just seems like sticky. It is. You don't like it, or you do like it. I guess right there isn't sticky. It's just it. In some spots, it's like sticky. And you like that, or don't like it? I don't really like it too much. Like it. But it could be easier, like, to, like, run the collars, too. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, I heard the bubble again. Um, mm -hmm. he wants to see how the watercolor turned out. <laughs> um. This is my watercolor. I see a bunch to like, hair I think I got, brush. like, I think I got it, like, too dark. Uh, too dark of a outline. That's why it doesn't look so well. Oh. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Did 
She did a really cool leaf the other day. It looked amazing. I wish I, I don't remember. I think I put it up somewhere. So I don't think I would have thrown it away. But anyway, it was really, really cool. Well, thank you. I think Brooke's getting ready to paint another one. <laughs> you ever paint the animals in your yard? Not literally. <laughs> That'd be interesting, though. Yes, in fact, I did the a while back. I did a painting of our barn, and I did put Ollie and a couple of the chickens, like Neville and all of that. I did. We didn't vlog that day when I did that, but I had to go get that painting and show you both. You you want to get like a couple on ones that we did a while back and just show them. Okay, I'll do that. dry just really quick. watercolors are um, easy to this is a painting I did a while back it has Ollie and the goats and chickens Neville and the barn it's sweetie you know I'm not I I don't really care for it a whole lot but um, it was like one of my very first ones I ever did, so anyway, I was hoping for it to look a little more realistic than that, but anyway. Riga says you can't wait to see the final products. Are you just about getting there, or you still got a ways mm, to go? I still have a ways to go. Maybe halfway done, maybe. Thank you, running kicks, but it was fun to paint, but it, it got to be a little it's hard to paint animals, at least for me it is, and, and so it was like a real difficult one because I couldn't get the animals to quite turn out right. Yeah, it is a little hard to paint animals. And but... Pokemon. I like to keep my paintings simple to just one thing and, and just do that. So I was thinking we had orange, but we don't do it. Orange? Orange. You have to make it. I have to get the red and white, don't I? What makes orange? Red and white? Nope. You're what? close. You got one color oh. right. <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking of it. But I think I'm doing the pink one for these two. Yeah. yeah. Red and yellow <laughs> make orange. Yep. I don't know why, but I think. Oh, thank you. Yeah, right. It is pretty. I mean, I, I I like it. You know, it's nice and it reminds me of springtime and everything. But um, I was just a little bit disappointed. I couldn't. I was trying to get texture kind of on the. I did clouds and all that, and I couldn't get them right, so I ended up just painting over it with one solid color and calling it good. I worked on the clouds forever on that. I couldn't get them look right but other than that not all clouds look the same yeah i know 
I just was having a little difficult time with it. I feel like this red's a little too dark. Hold on. Uh, yes. You can do clouds. That's cool. I wish I could do them. I've, I, I just need to practice more often on it. Running Kickspot says yes, which is why I can appreciate art. Not as easy as one would think. It's easy to criticize, but hard to actually do. Yes, it is hard. And, and it's, um, it is very easy to criticize, especially your own work, because you have that picture in your mind of exactly how you want it to turn out, and then it doesn't turn out anything like it. And so it is, it's hard. Um, you know, Running Kicks But actually asks, will you, any of you ever sell your art, like start an album on face, on your Facebook page and sell your things? You know, we've considered it. Um, I thought of opening up an Etsy shop. I just, I haven't done that yet. I've, I don't even know how to. I'm going to have to research and figure out how to do that. But um, I thought of doing that and then I would just go ahead and um, put whatever ones that we wanted to sell on there and along with some other things and do that. In fact, probably in the next couple of weeks I'll research it and then hopefully do that. Because there's been several people interested in buying some of Brooke's stuff. Um. Especially her rose one that she did. I don't know if she wants to sell that one though. I'm kind of a little attached to that one. I don't, <laughs> it was my first very good painting I was proud of. So, <laughs> um, it's a good one. What do you want me to paint? What do you want to paint? Yeah. What, what do you guys have any ideas of what Burke should paint? She's wanting yeah. to paint another picture. Flower. Of, of watercolor. Flower. Rainbow. Rainbow. Something Flower. easy. <laughs> Preferably. Yes, that is a good idea, and it would keep the them set. keep them definitely motivated on creating. I think so, and you know, paint supplies and stuff like that are expensive. So if we can at least sell it to at least cover the cost, so we can continue to buy more supplies and keep practicing, that would be really good. Um, running kicks butt says cows. Rigo says a sunset. And Samantha says, paint your favorite bunny. Theodore. <laughs> oh. Ooh, that would be a hard one. Theodore or Holly? Wait, I'm guessing Theodore. <laughs> well, of course, Theodore's my favorite one. Holly is probably my favorite one. Bunnies are pretty, kind of easy to paint, I think. Yeah, at least, um, well, yeah, it depends on if you're doing small ones, you don't need much detail. Yeah, um, yours are easy to make them look like rabbits because of the pointy ears. I don't know how I do like the floppy flop ears. Um, I actually kind of like the idea of doing the um, rainbow. Running Kicks but says, who doesn't love cows? I like a close-up of a farm animal, like a pig face or a cow face. Those are good to paint. I'd buy a cow, pig, or chicken. And then, um... Okay, I'll do... Yeah, right, it says, how about a pattern that could be used for a curtain or a cushion? And Rigo says a mountain sunset. Okay, I'm not, I don't know how to do like sunsets with watercolor. 
colors. <laughs> so you'd have to switch to acrylic to do a sunset. Yeah. And Dylan's doing a sunset, so. Mm, yeah, okay. Um, well, if it's a sunrise. Yeah. Yeah, mine's a sunrise. You can do a sunset. Okay, I could do. Uh, I could do. A, I'll try. I'll try a pig. How about that? Okay. Oh. That was funky. <laughs> what happened? I'm just laughing. Change. Put the camera over that way. I don't know what you did. <laughs> I'll see if it will happen again with the white. Oh, it just kind of comes out. Kind of comes out. What would the watercolor paint be like if you didn't water it down? What is it? Would it paint on like acrylic or not? Mylene did that with hers. Um. I don't really know. <laughs> I was at work when she did that, so I don't know. Did she think it was acrylic and? No, she knew it was watercolor. She just I didn't know. What to do. I didn't know what to do with watercolor either. <laughs> but that's what watercolor is: is to have like the the I'm really thinned out. Yeah, just like a light color that's transparent. This snowman's really taking shape. What? It's really taking shape. It's looking good. I bet you can fix it. It's just funny the way you said, oh, made me laugh. And there's Dylan's. It's looking really good. Move over here. The tree, I feel like the trees need something more. Maybe add a little light green in there or yellow in there, kind of. I was you thinking know? yellow. I would straight do straight yellow. Straight yellow? Uh, mm. I thought straight yellow, but it's just I'm afraid to turn out like my weeds in my other picture. I don't think that's quite what needed, but... Rika says they all look fantastic. Kicks butt says, let him know it's coming out fantastic. Pet Socks like says, nice job, Dylan and Miley. Thank you. Hey, Kelsey. 
Kelsey asked, winter picture time. Uh, yep, Miley's painting a winter picture because winter time is her favorite time, especially when it snows. I do like summer dough too. Um, so far, running kicks butt ass. Did you all take a class or is this all self-taught because everyone is doing a great job? Please let Miley know that I loved her picture window art with all the seasons last time. Um, we did take just a few classes of Texas when we worked over at Mr. Carrington. Oh, yeah. We yeah, did that. Yeah. So we have, but I don't remember much about those classes. Yeah, the, um, Bill and Brooke took uh, one class, like a week long class. Um, it was a homestead, or not homestead, homestead. homeschooling <laughs> class in Texas went for just a week on uh, painting. But then they never really pursued it after that. And then um, the only other thing we took is Brooke and I took a wine sipping class a couple months ago. <laughs> a oh, wine. Wine. <laughs> oh, good grief. A wine sipping and painting class yes. <laughs> a couple of weeks ago. Sounds like she sipped a little too much wine. If you know what I yeah, oh, I did, kind of, probably. It didn't take very much wine for me to have too much wine. But anyway, um, and so we did that a couple months ago, I think it was, and... Anyway, that kind of inspired us, and ever since then, we've been painting whenever we can. And um, other than watching Bob Ross videos like what Dylan did, um, that's basically all the painting, we, or painting classes or instruction that we've had. So. Yeah, we did just sip wine and didn't worry about the art. <laughs> we were just there for the wine. Yeah. We actually found a new wine that we really, really liked. Yeah, though, so it was so really worth good. it to take that class. Ever since then, we've been drinking that wine a lot. Not a lot, lot, but you know, we, we buy it and occasionally drink it. I'm trying to get the snow to look more like snow, not sky. Kelsey says just she got back from a reptile show. That's cool. What kind of there probably was all sorts of reptiles there. And we've never been to a reptile show before. What are they like? Do they have do, is it just kind of do they have just a bunch of different ones on display and you can go around and look at them or I'm gonna go adjust the camera real quick. missing a brush out of Whoa. my pack. I wasn't worried about the painting, I was worried about your hair. <gasps> Just about got my hair in the lens. Oh, you did. Oh, I did? Well, it touched <laughs> the painting, I don't know if your hair got Oh, it did. I'm oh, it did. My hair. <laughs> you swished it around in the paint <laughs> Oh, no. Kelsey says, oh yeah, dozens of different species, all beautiful. You can buy our pet or talk to the breeders. I played with an Asian scorpion. I was tempted to take him home. He was so calm and sweet. Cool. Aww. A little scorpion. Kind of creepy, kind of cute. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be something Brooke would like, I think, is the reptile show. She likes reptiles. Um, Pets Off Psych says, how is the fermenting croc? Have you made and eaten anything yet? Yes, I made um, sauerkraut a couple of weeks ago, I think. And, um, <laughs> well, I, I know I made sauerkraut, but I can't remember how long ago it was. I think it was a couple of weeks. It should be ready now. But anyway, um, you know, it has that little trough around the top where you pour the water in. Well, that evaporates fast. And so I noticed every day you have to keep filling that up. And well, I just realized today that I hadn't filled it for a couple of days, and then I went and looked and all the water was evaporated out of there, so I kind of thought that I might have accidentally ruined my sauerkraut. And then, so I took the lid off and checked, and it was still fine, and it doesn't smell like sauerkraut yet. It still has a cabbage smell to it. 
what I think happened is it was dried up, but then there was like some water still kind of under the lid or something and it formed a seal. And so um, I put more water around the, in the trough and I put the lid back on and ever since then it's been bubbling again. And so um, I'm hoping that it's um, okay. I think it is, but anyway, it's real funny because it'll, every once in a while it'll bubble and it'll make like a bloop sound. I've and only heard it twice. Dylan heard it last weekend or the weekend before. And he kept telling me he kept hearing drops of water. In fact, it just oh, did oh, it. I, just, I, I don't know if you guys heard it. heard it. But anyway, um, it's really funny. And um, Dylan couldn't figure out what it was. He thought it was water dripping or something. It's not enough to drive you nuts. <laughs> if then, you don't know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> and then I figured out that's what it was. So I was real happy that... Like today when I put the water back in there and put the lid on, I was really, really happy that it started um, making bubbles again. So. Uh, Kelsey said that the reptile show is worth the trip to see. No new additions for me this time, but I did get a few treats for my gang. Uh, how many reptiles do you have, Kate, Kelsey? Um, I know Brooke would love to probably buy the treats and stuff for hers. Yes, I hope it is good. I'm pretty sure the bubbling is a pro is a good sign. So I'm hoping maybe next weekend it'll be ready to eat. But it just didn't have any sauerkraut smell it just smelled like fresh chopped cabbage and I thought that was kind of unusual because it's been fermenting for a good couple of weeks now unless it does have a smell of or unless it does taste like sauerkraut it just doesn't have that smell or something but I figured it would smell more like sauerkraut if it was ready so I decided I'm gonna leave it for another week or two does that look like snow to you oh my goodness mm -hmm. it does Miley it does mm -hmm. I really like that. It looks really good. Can you hold it up to the camera and, and then... There's just them? like one little spot that... There's just that one little red spot that I needed to cover up just real quick. Oh, okay. So I covered that up with white. All I needed to do is just get a little blue on and just mix it. Good deal. Kelsey says, I have 14 in all. Small furry mm -hmm. things tend to mess with my allergies, so I went with the scaly, went the scaly route. They're all a joy to have. I bet so. It would be cute. I'm... I get kind of freaked out of reptiles. I'd, I'd be creeped out too. Yeah. They just kind of give me creeps. But they're cute from a distance though. I do like Brooks. I like I, to go in there and watch him eat. And he, he does have personality and he's really cute and everything. But like if I don't know where he's at in the cage and then I happen to look at it or something and he pops up, it just scares me to death. And then if Bert gets him out and he freaks out and he jumps or something, I'm just out of out of there. I've actually held Izzy. Right, that you is. held him. Isn't that his name, Izzy? Yes, that's his name, Izzy. When I buy store bought fermented cabbage, it doesn't have that smell either. But if I buy the kind in certain packages, they have the smell. Ah! I guess. Uh, I guess. Maybe I ought to try it then. It might be done. Um. Whenever I've done it in a canning jar with a, a Ziploc over it to make the airlock, um, it always has a really strong sauerkraut smell. In fact, when you walk by it, I can usually smell it. So that's when I always knew that it was done. But I guess that we might, I ought to taste it and see if it's good or not. We got there's my least snow pit shirt. Yeah. Look at the snow. She did a very good job on that, I think. I still need to get the tree, though. Ah! No. Oh, I got red all over it. Oh, no. It fell. Oh. 
Pet Soft Sykes says, I bought a fermenting crock, but it's not the real deal like you have. Just a large canning jar with a ceramic weight, with ceramic weights and a special lid. Um, I've seen those before, and those are really, really cool. In fact, a long time ago, that's what I was really, really wanting. In fact, there's somebody, I think, is on eBay that sells um, glass weights that fit inside canning jars. And then you can buy, like, a little airtight lock. I can't remember what the name of them are, but you, you can so fix a canning jar like that. So canning jar lid. Perfect pickler, is it? It is like the perfect pickler, but you can buy those little, I can't think of the name of them, the little airlock things. Separate and make your own um, lids and stuff like that. Those are really cool. I did buy the perfect pickler one time. A set. I can't remember. I think it was just a lid that fit on a canning jar, yeah, wasn't it? Is it a lid that fit on the canning Yeah. Can make pickles in it. Yeah. And that worked pretty good. But... And it kind of makes it look like it's snowing. And that's kind of the way it came on the look a little. They say, Please. great job, Miley. Thanks. I'm, I'm trying to make it have like a little look as it's kind of like snowing a little. Kelsey says, my blue tongue skink. I've never heard of a blue tongue skink before. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to look that up. See what a skink looks like. Is a snuggle bug of the group. Um, I've heard of them. Anytime I come home from work, she presses herself up against the glass of her enclosure. That's her telling me she wants me to hold and snuggle. Oh, how sweet. That is so cute. That's what? adorable. Mom, does it have the look as it's kind of like snowing a little, Mom? So that's kind of the way I kind of want it to have. Like, look no, as it's snowing this. a little. So oh. you have a perfect pickler. That's, those are really neat. I had mine for a while and then I kind of lost the parts and so I quit using it. But um, it worked good. I did have problems with it. I didn't have a weight in mine, I don't think. It came with like a little silver or a little stainless steel cup or something and you, you set it in there and it was supposed to hold everything down but I could never get that to work right and then I didn't have any other way to weight it down and so sometimes when I made them I don't know it tasted off a couple of times but I think if I would have gotten some kind of weight it probably would have worked better Looking really good to work out Kelsey says the pictures are coming along nicely. Thank you. I guess I just give everybody a quick update on them too. Snowman's looking cute, Miley. There's Miley's. Now I'm starting to use my fingers for it. There's your snowman. And here's Dylan's. That's looking really good. There's Brooks. Do the little piggy. She's doing um, watercolors for the very first time. 
Well, I mean, you've done it a couple other times. Yeah, this but... is my fourth attempt at watercolors. Right there has like an odd little calling. How you make brown? Black. No. The blue and red. Blue and red are like the one. It's purple. <laughs> oh, that's purple. Uh, <laughs> close. Which color are you trying to make? Brown. 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 I don't know how to make brown. I was brown, thinking white. I, I, I just made brown, and you mix red and green. Red and green. And you make brown. I don't think you need red and black. Mm -hmm. So you have to make green. That would make maroon. Yeah, you know, so mine's gonna make green, and then she's gonna make purple. <laughs> what do you? What colors do you use to make green? Blue and yellow. Yeah. We'll see here. Running kicks butt says that pig is simply adorable. Oh. Kelsey says thumbs up. Running Kick Spot says Dylan, that sunrise is awesome. Running Kick Spot says really like the snow effect on Miley's. Ru Ruin Gamer says cool. And um Head Soft Sykes and Vine is called it. Killer. It has a three liter glass jar, ceramic stones, an airtight lid, an airlock. That sounds cool. I bet you that will work great. Um, especially with the ceramic um, stone weights and stuff like that. That would be really, really nice. I'm going to be interested to see how that works out for you. Let's see, I was reading all of them backwards and I'm going to go back down here. Um, Rico says, concentration is all I see. Good job, guys. Um, running kicks by says, yes, this group is so quiet and focused on their work. I'm so impressed. Well, thank I'm you. I'm using my fingers now. And I'm getting paint on my pants. Oh, look at my finger. Oh, no. It's covered in paint. Elf Lords, hey. Um, Elf Lord says, I see you're back at it. it is, that is acrylics. I see water being used. Yes, um, Brooke is doing watercolor and Miley's doing acrylic and then Dylan is doing oil painting. So. We have all three paints going all at once. Yeah. All ah! three of all at once. Oh! Variety. <laughs> oh man. Look at what happens in a brush. <laughs> Where'd the end go? Well, he's having all sorts of problems. I found the end! <laughs> oh no! It just fell off, I guess. The end was and not very easy. Let's see. Running kids kicks butt says you can make brown with purple and yellow or black and orange or orange and red or orange and green. This will give you different shades of brown. That's good to know. Mm, that's good to know. Thanks for the tip. Okay, a little bit at a time. Just got in and it looks like everyone is having lots of fun. Yes, we are having fun. We're just painting and all of that. And Kelsey says you were painting so intently that it just snapped. <laughs> <laughs> so... Yeah, for all of you that are just coming in, we um, I'm kind of doing kind of just like an update. Um, early on in the beginning of the video, I was showing um, 
what I'm going to do with my planner and how I'm going to decorate it and stuff like that. And um, we've had a really busy week this last week, and so I didn't get all the videos done that I was planning to do. And so I just decided to do kind of an afternoon chat, and the kids were wanting to paint, and so that's what we're doing. But hopefully next week I'll be staying home most of the week so I can get caught up on all the videos I was wanting to do. It's been like one hour and 46 minutes. <laughs> yeah, we've been on for a very long time. It doesn't even feel like that long. Um... Elf Lord says, I saw Miley making a snow angel. You didn't join her? No, I didn't, because I don't like to be covered in snow. But I do. Miley did a good job of covering me in snow, though, because she was plastering me with snowballs the whole time I <laughs> was doing chores. I was, I was freezing cold. Little Bit says, I'll be watching everything tonight. All right. Kelsey, has, you haven't gotten any snow yet either. This was our first snow, and so we're supposed to be getting some more, I think, in a couple of days, maybe, or something. So, a little bit said that she, she said, I pre ordered my turkey chicks today. All right, that's awesome. It's exciting. I love to pre love to order chicks and everything. Um, we have talked about ordering, but we haven't started yet, but we need to because I think in order to get a, a good selection or have a good choice or whatever, we do need to get our order in by the end of January, usually, because if we wait any later than that, a lot of the breeds that we want are kind of sold out, and then we have to choose a later shipping date, and we like to get them right around the 1st of March is when we get ours in. So if we try to order like any later than the end of the month, then it seems like the it's further out than the ones that are available that we like. So, but we haven't figured out yet what we want to get. But here in the next week or two, I we are going to go over that and talk about it and decide. I was thinking of getting the book out like yes. later today. I don't think we've officially gotten a new book this year yet. Have we a new magazine? Maybe we have. And I've just been looking through like a book mostly. That's what I've looked through. But anyway. But it's always exciting to order chicks because that means spring is not too far away. That's what you're looking for the most right yes, now. Yes, spring. And we've been getting a bunch of seed catalogs too. And I'm like, oh, that's the only thing that gets me through winter is the seed catalogs and ah, the chick catalogs and all I that. I keep forgetting this brush breaks easily. Maybe you just need to ah. throw that one away and get a different brush. Not right now, it's actually kind of useful. So that's orange in it, though. Um, let's see. Kelsey said, I've been thinking about quail lately. That would be cool. I've kind of looked into quail a little bit, too, but we just don't have a spot for them. And so I think we're just going to focus on what we have for now, but eventually that would be kind of an interesting thing to get into. Elf Lord says, looks like Brooke is not using paper. She is using paper. She um, taped her paper onto a canvas so that way she can... Um, so the way when it dries, um, it dries flat. Yeah. All right, a little bit at a time says, I'm getting the midget whites again. Love the breed. I love those too. When we, uh, those are the... That's the breed that I wanted to order when we got ours. But at the time that I ordered ours, which I don't remember when that was, they were out. And um, the Royal Palms were probably about the only choice besides the broad-breasted breed that there was. And we wanted one that we could actually breed. And the broad-breasted ones, you really can't breed them very well. So that's why we chose the ones that we got. But I think the midgets would be kind of neat to have because they'd be smaller. Because sometimes our turkeys get so huge and then, you know, we don't really like them to grow that large. We need to just be on it more and, and you know, process them sooner than we do, but we don't get to it sometimes. 
also a little bit, are you going to try to breed them and hatch them out? Or are you just going to raise them and then butcher them? That would be, Kelsey says, I've been watching videos about processing them. They seem very easy to skin and prepare. I've heard quail tastes very good as well and might give a small hand for a try this year. That would be interesting. I'll, I'm going to be interested to see what you think of it if you do. Um, I've looked at videos on processing quail too and I agree they would be, they seem pretty easy. Little bit says I will save breeders again. That'll be cool. Well, if you ever have any extra eggs or something like that, you might be interested in getting some from you and trying to hatch them out or something sometime. All right. Yes, a little bit at a time does have a video on doing quail. I watched that a while back. <clears throat> that, in fact, that's the video that I watched about doing quail. Uh, a little bit says our hen stopped laying, so we processed her and the tom. Um, how old were they when you when you processed them? Because that's what I've always wondered about. You know, when they get older, were they kind of tough to eat or were they still pretty tender? Because I know that like sometimes older hens are kind of tough. But I've always wondered what we're gonna do with our Tom and hen once they quit, when she quits laying, so. Or maybe that's what we should do, is we should get, we should butcher our original Tom and Hen. Tom. Tom. What did I say? Tom? Yeah, I said Tom and Hen. Maybe we should butcher them and then um, keep Lucky and Chance and let them lay. Or let them lay this year and then butcher them next year and then hopefully we'll have offspring from them. And then just keep going that way. I don't know. Basically, just keep them going, basically. Samantha says, we have more snow coming Tuesday p.m. through Wednesday. The vicious wind and negative temps are terrible on the body and brain. I want a couple ducks to help with pest control in the garden. Any faves or advice? I don't have any advice or anything on ducks. Um, we've never had them before. The kids have wanted them. I think they're so cool. Yeah, and I've considered possibly getting a couple this year, maybe. If what? we can run them in with the chickens. What was that that we got? But I don't want to have to build another shelter for them. But um, the kids, or not the kids, what was I going to say? Oh, um, see I've heard that like ducks lay through the winter. They don't quit laying like um, chickens do, so ducks would be a very good thing to have if you wanted to have eggs all winter. So I was thinking of getting, you know, just a handful of them, if we could put them with the chickens, and they'll do okay. So, anyway. Hey, is that that really big paintbrush that would not fit in the yard? No, that's, uh, this oh. is like, Oh. The Lord says, yes, I do the same. There's no here yet, maybe Friday. I have quails and cottontail rabbits in my yard, but have never had to eat them yet. <laughs> what? Yeah. It's almost fine. Isn't it? Maybe the times they were delicious. Okay, I'm gonna try that maybe. Go That's ahead and maybe butcher them and all that. <laughs> like Kelsey three. says, even if it turns out I'm not a huge fan of the flavor, I still might raise them anyway for my meat eating and that would be a good way to do it too, is just to raise them for your meat for your animals. 
That would be cool. You can also probably eat their eggs too. Rigo says, I can't wait to get my new chicks this spring and start my garden. I hear you, Rigo. I am the same way. Cannot wait. What kind of chicks and and what things are you going to be growing in your garden? A little bit of time. Let's know, do we get a sneak preview of everyone's masterpieces? Yes. In fact, I will show you real quick. I've been giving a little updates here and there throughout the chat. Um, I'm sorry you said paper. I think the call of mine is done. Yes, Lucky and Chance are from the same clutch. That probably wouldn't work very good to like um, breed them and try to hatch their eggs because they are brother sister related. So that probably wouldn't be very good. But we'll probably just keep the same Tom and Hen, and then when they quit laying, we'll you know rotate them out somewhere, find somewhere else to get more or something. Kelsey says, I hear quail eggs are delicious even more so than chicken eggs. I've heard that too. I'd be interested to try them and see what they, how they compare. Okay. There is Brooke's little piggy. That's looking cute. Here is Miley's snowy winter scene. It's a cute little snowman. He's wearing a Christmas hat. That's cute. I like that. And then here is Dylan's, what is it, a sunrise or a sunset? Sunset. Sunset. I thought it was a sunrise. But with that look. Isn't that good? Dylan's been watching Bob Ross. So, Kelsey says, good job, guys. Samantha says, I've heard the Muscovy aren't greasy if you decided to pull, but are great, also great layers. They have the red faces, I believe. I'm excited. Spring fever on top of cabin fever. I hear ya. That's what I am. Just, I have spring fever right now and cabin fever and everything. That's why last week I ended up just going to town a lot. We went out of town once to shop, and then it was um, like bill paying and shopping, errand running day one day, so I did that. And I mean, I was just gone a lot last, over the week. It was just, I just had to get out and kind of do something different because I was tired of being just trapped up all the time. Of course, I'm not really in the house all the time because I do go out and take care of the animals, but it's still, it's just hard. I keep forgetting to look at the camera right there, and I keep talking here. I'm very sorry about that. But anyway, um... Rigo's getting eight Rhode Island red hens and two roosters, and my garden is going to be all produce. That is awesome. Awesome, awesome. Little bit says they all look great. Danny says, happy little trees. You planted a bunch of happy little trees. <laughs> I did. Dylan does a, a really hilarious imitation of Bob Ross. I should have him video it sometime, or I should video it sometime, but he won't do it when I have the video camera going. But he's hilarious. You should do it now. No. Yes. <laughs> Early kicks blood. I'm in love with Brooks Pig. Oh, Miley, that's a cute winter scene, Dylan. Freaking awesome work. That color in the sky and the water is simply beautiful. You have some very talented kids. Thank you. We just have fun just experimenting and messing around and 
never know whenever you try something that, you know, it just kind of, like, you know, I always have a hard time um, trying things, new things, and um, worrying about whether or not they're going to turn out or whatever. So, um, one of the things I always like to tell everybody is just go for it. Doesn't matter whether you're painting, whether you're you're wanting to grow things, or whether you're wanting to raise animals or anything like that. Just go ahead and go for it, and then you know try it. And if you make mistakes, learn from your mistakes, and just keep going. And don't um, don't be afraid to just try things because you just never know how they're going to turn out. Oh, everybody wants you to do that. No. <laughs> yes. No, no, no. I'm going to have to disappoint. <laughs> he says he's going to have to disappoint. <laughs> One of these days I'll just sneak it on the video and put it in a vlog <laughs> when he's not looking. No, I'll never do that. Anything I record, I was... Anything embarrassing or anything that they wouldn't want out there, I always have to make sure that I have their permission before I post it. Bill Ford says, I, uh, practice makes perfect, I try to paint every day. Yes. And Bill Ford does an awesome, awesome job of painting. He posts his pictures on his channel, so you guys need to go watch some of his his um, videos. It shows his watercolor paintings are really um, pretty. I will do that. Yep. Yeah, Rigo says Brooke is so concentrated and focused on her piggy. <laughs> yeah, Brooke gets totally in, into it and concentrates. And I am like standing up. I don't have her on camera. I guess I'll turn the camera a little bit. It's kind of hard because we kind of downsized our table and we don't. There. Oh, <laughs> Ford says, Sanctuary, I'm working on lions, tigers, bears, and cougars, and bobcats now. That is cool. I'm going to have to check out your latest videos and see. I noticed uh, when you do eagles or something once, I was watching, I watched that video a lot. Um, there some really beautiful ones. It was an owls and eagles and all of that. Um, Running Kicks Butt says Brooke was probably happy being off the camera. I, I all eyes are on her and the pressure is on. Yes. <laughs> okay, Kelsey. Thanks for stopping in. It's been fun chatting with you. Yes, eagles and a hawk and owls and cardinals and blue jays. That was a really awesome video. Lots of cool paintings and everything. I really like that one.
It's like you're having a blizzard there. You having a blizzard? I don't know. Oh, oh I should have did the scarf on the other side. To make it look like it was blowing. Oh. I should have done that. That looks good though. I like it. Or even have like the it going that way. Those are videos between trips. A 10 day Caribbean cruise coming up in March. Oh my gosh. That would be awesome. I'm jealous. It's going where it's nice and warm, sunshiny. Vegas says, I'm watching your show and waiting for the brownies to be done baking. You're baking brownies while you're watching? I bet you there. That would be awesome. I've been hungry for brownies. I was going to bake some the other day, but didn't. And then I ended up baking some um, banana nut bread this morning instead. I got one of those. Where's it at? One of those copper baking dishes for Christmas. Like this. Basically has the light, the insert you put in the pan. And you bake them and then they're all divided up into little serving size portions. And that is so awesome. I tried it out today. I was wanting to do it with brownies, but I ended up doing it with banana nut bread instead. And it works so great. But I can't wait to try it out with brownies and see how it does with that. bit of a time says Brooks Dirty Water is making me crave pink lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess you could, you know, you could drink it if you want. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure it tastes like pink lemonade, though. I do agree. It does look pretty. It does. It does make, make it kind of thirsty. Mine looks white, though. The water of mine looks like gray. Yeah. Which it does have pink all over it, too. This is ha ha making brownies here too. Today must be the day of making brownies. I also got a copper pan for Christmas, square with a fire basket in it. And I haven't seen the one with the fire basket in it. Interesting. I love that copper stuff. I've been wanting to try. This is my first. Um, pan that I've ever had that's copper, but um, my mom got the copper electric skillet, and I think that thing looks amazing. But so, anyway, that pan that I used, it it was really nice. Um, I didn't have to grease it or anything, and it, but it it just came out clean, and everything came out so easy. Marley's paintings done now. Looking good. Oh my gosh. 
here on this thing. Yeah. I don't want to touch it because I don't want to get the More hair in my painting. Yes. How was the crowd going? Can you smell it for me? You know, um, I can't. It's kind of strange. I haven't been able to smell it. And um, I was talking about this earlier, but um, you know that little trough that we had that I have on there. You're supposed to get it filled with water. Well, it evaporates really quickly. And um, today I looked, and I it had completely evaporated out because I uh, forgot to fill it and so I was freaking out because I thought maybe I ruined my sauerkraut so anyway I opened up the lid and it still looked fine and I smelled it and it just smells still like cabbage it doesn't really have a sauerkraut smell yet but anyway I was relieved that there wasn't mold and or and things like that growing in it and all that so I put the lid back on and I filled it full of water again and um this afternoon I've heard it, it's been bubbling every once in a while, it goes bloop. And um, so I'm thinking it's gonna be okay yet, but that's one thing with that thing, every single day you gotta remember to add water to that. So. I think I'm gonna let it go one more week and then next weekend I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and try it. No, oh, no, I don't like paint her hair. At least your <laughs> the paint your hair will wash out and like the paint in my hair. You might take some Dawn with you when you go in there. Dawn works wonders on it. Really? I see I'm washing my hair. Oh, you've got your pig finished. How cute. <laughs> Is that cute? So cute? It's cute. I like that. Good job. Thank you. So everybody is done with the paintings now. Why don't you guys all have one more look at them? And there's Brooks. There you go. And there's Miley's. And there's Dylan's. Here's my first one, too. Oh, yeah, and then there's my Brooke's first painting that she did. It's a wolf and a moon. I, I see, like, hair on it from the brush. No. I didn't have a good... I like how the nose on the snowman looks. Yes, you did a very good nose for it. I kind of like the snow look on it. I like how it's snowing. Samantha says, I'm curious if you do meal planning each week or if you're like me and just don't thaw meat daily, being like it's the same old meats. I'm constantly trying to come up with new recipes, concoctions. Yeah, I'm not very much of a planner. Um, I wish I was. I just tend to go out and get whatever meat out I feel it sounds the best and then um, just fix it up and I need to do more videos on that and I want to but um, I'm more of just kind of um, or we try to eat more real food and less um, processed food and so I find that um, it's just kind of easier just to fix like a meat and some kind of vegetable and you know call it supper and that's usually what I do 
and I don't feel like my meals are, are that interesting or anything like that, but I do plan to do more like that. Um, let's see what I, I usually just get out like a roast or pork chops or, you know, something with hamburger and then I just fix two or three vegetables as sides and call it a meal and that, that's it. So I need to be better at that and, and this time um, I found a couple of, I found three different recipes on Facebook that all sounded good. And so I went ahead and printed those up and I just bought ingredients for them. So I'm going to make three new things this week. And maybe I might do some videos on those because they sound really good. One of them is bagels with um, mm. artichoke, dip, artichoke dip, artichoke and spinach dip on bagels. And then another one was um, ham and potato soup. It sounded really good. It had leeks and carrots and stuff like that. Or was that the one? No, the ham and potato soup just has um, potatoes and ham. And I forget what the ingredients Celery. Are. Celery and stuff. Carrots. carrots. And then there's another one that has sausage. And I'm going to use the sausage that we got from our pigs when we butchered them. And um, it has leeks and... I think potatoes and carrots or something. Anyway, um, I'm going to try those recipes out, but I do need to be, I want to get more organized in that area. In fact, this whole year is, that's my main goal is organization. I want to get organized on, in the house. I want to get organized on meal planning and get more organized on videos and getting in them out on um, more of a schedule. Just my whole life, I just want to get more organized, so I'm going to try my hardest. And so I might go ahead and um, try to experiment with different meal 